Okay, let's start the video. First, let's start by adding a customer. You can either add customer from the home page or from the add user panel as well. Okay. If I click on home page, if I take here customer name as Ram. Okay, as you can see, customer list is not showing in under the name of Ram, which means the Ram customer is the new customer. Okay, you can fill his detail like the last name, father name, mobile number, phone number, address, country, state, city, GST number, okay, user type, then we have PAN or other number. Then we have finger scan option as well. If I click on his home page, so you can see the customer is added successfully. Okay, and now we are on, on his home page. Now, if you want to sell any product to this customer, so click on the customer sell panel. Okay, now in this sell panel, we are having multiple options. As you can see, this one is sell fine jewelry B1 form. Okay, same as top B1 form we are having. We have cell form fine jewelry B2. Then sell metal form B2, like we are selling in metal. Okay, return fine jewelry is if he is returning the jewelry we sold to him. Okay, then if you are selling any imitation jewelry, you can click on B1 form or the B2 form of imitation jewelry. If you are selling raw metal to him, you can click on raw metal. Okay, then we have crystal panel. Then if you are giving quotation to him, you can give quotation from this quotation panel. Then we have fine jewelry list, fine jewelry written list, imitation jewelry cell list, raw metal cell list, okay, stone cell list and quotation list. I'll show you each and every panel how we can how we are going to use it. Well, first take cell fine jewelry B1 form. Okay. Over here you have to either scan the barcode or you have to take the product type. For example, I am taking product ID as ring 1 and I will click on go. So you can see B1 form is a big form. So you can see all the details are showing here. Okay. Now, if I will click on submit, as you can see here are the details like metal details. Okay, the category, the quantity showing gross weight. Then we have less weight. Okay, less weight is here. Then we have fine, uh, sorry, net weight. Then we have making charges. Okay, customer wastage if you want to add in weight. Okay, then we have percentage, the purity. Then we have the wastage. Okay, and here we have the customer wastage also. Then here is the total amount coming. Then if you want to give any discount in percentage, you can give. Then it will show here in amount and the total charges will show here. Okay, here we have all my QID number. Then other information, other charges, if you want to charge anything from you, you can take from the other charges panel as well. Okay, any VAT or tax you want to add, you can click on the tax. Okay, as you can see, the valuation is coming 63,133. It is taking the sell rate of diamond as well. If I'll double click on the valuation, you can choose whether you want to keep the valuation on gross weight, net weight, final, final, final. If I will take the net weight, the calculation will be done on the net weight, which is 9.254 after doing the less weight of the line. Okay. And here we are having, below we are having the diamond details as well. Now I'll click on submit. As you can see, the payment panel for that product is from here. Okay. Here we are showing showing the metal details, the current metal details. Then here we have the metal detail received by customer. Okay. If any old gold you are receiving from the customer, you will take from this panel. For example, he is giving us 2 gram old gold. Okay. Then we are uh, taking it by the purity of 75. Then the fine weight is coming 1.500 gram. So according to today's rate, 7,800 is the valuation for that product. And as you can see, 7,800 is minus from the amount. Okay. Then here we have the cash details. Okay. Cash details are 
how you are receiving the payment from the customer like the remaining payment is 56 to 50 we have to receive from the customer so through which mode you are the customer is paying you cash through bank through card or online okay here we have one discount option this discount option is before tax okay if you are giving discount before tax we will take write the discount here then any additional charges you want to charge to that customer you charge from here then we have tax okay for example i am taking here three percent then you can see the tax is calculated here okay then any courier charges you are charging from him then here you will write the payment you are receiving in cash okay i am taking twenty thousand i am receiving in cash okay then twenty thousand in bank okay like he is doing net banking or any check uh, he is giving you then we have card payment how much payment you have received from card we will take 5000 and online like google to phone pay or any online mode he is paying you so we will take in the online payment option for example i am taking 10000 ok now here we have loyalty points ok if he is having any loyalty points you can redeem the loyalty points from here then we have discount amount this discount amount is after the tax okay if you want to give discount to that customer after tax you will write here for example i am giving 73 as discount so you can see 3100 is the remaining balance with the customer now I'll click on the submit okay before that you can check if you have uh, through on your left side the uh, account details are showing here as if you are receiving an uh, amount like the bank amount in any particular bank you have added so you can choose the bank account from the down drop drop down of the panel okay now I'll click on submit as you can see the entry for that particular item is shown there if I'll check the invoice first invoice you can see the invoice okay now we have two three formats of the invoice you can check from the setting panel okay which format you want to print you can choose from there then we have second invoice which is rough estimate okay you can check if you want to give any rough estimate to the customer okay and the third one is the old gold purchase if the customer wants separate bill for that old gold purchase you can even give him the old gold purchase separate invoice okay then here we have delivery chalan then here we have as you can see gst e invoice you can send through link the customer and you can even send through email as well if i'll check on the first invoice we have given here the new feature as you can even take the digital signature of that customer from here okay you can update the digital signature if you haven't update the system you can call our technical team and you can update the system as the new features have added on or you can contact our crm team as well okay now if i'll check on the home panel of that customer you can see 3100 amount the due amount is showing here okay now this amount we have to receive from the customer this much if I'll check on the universal cell panel, it, it will show you here the list. Okay. Like whatever items you have sold till now, how much bill you have made till now. Okay. With the total amount, total tax value will show. It. Okay. And if you want to check with the item wise, fine jewelry item invoice list, then you can check from here. Okay. Fine jewelry item invoice list will show you here okay then we have if you have done any purchase entry then purchase return purchase return item list okay then we have payment pending sell invoice list and sold out item delist, delete list if you have deleted any invoice will show you in the deleted invoice list okay now as you can see we have your option customize invoice option if you want to customize your invoice here we are having the full invoice if you want to customize anything from the invoice whatever you want to show you can hide okay like the ad you want to show 
this add you can add okay any terms and conditions you want to add you can just click here and you can write here terms and conditions it will get displayed in your invoice okay or else if you want I'll, if i'll click on the own name you can change the font size uh, it is your jewelry shop name okay you can even change the color okay with the, what color you want it and i'll just click on submit okay like if you don't have the logo you don't want to show any logo just click on the logo then untick this and just click on submit now that logo will ha get hide from your invoice any details you want to show just you have to click on that particular detail like if you want to show the final purity if i'll click on the final purity as you can see this box is unticked if i'll tick this box and submit okay the final purity will show on my invoice as you can see we even have rate option if you want to show rate daily rate on the invoice also we can show okay then let's go to customer I'll go to user list and I'm taking the RAM customer we added. Okay, let's go to second in sec sell fine jewelry B2 form. Okay, if I'll take here any product, I'll click on go. As you can see, it is showing the B2 form like the minimum details with the minimum details you want to sell. We'll just choose this option. In this, we're having metal category name product code quantity gross weight packet weight net weight purity wasted we are having then final purity value added is the customer wasted or any weight you are adding value added weight then here we are having rate you can even change the rate we are having hsn number or hyd number okay then the making charges here is the total amount the total making charges and amount with making and total amount okay if we'll check the metal form B2, as I told you, we can sell here from to the metal. We don't have full check. Here it is not showing the valuation for that product. Okay. You're selling this item through like metal only. Okay, if any customer want to return his fine jewelry, I'll click on return fine jewelry. I'll write take here the invoice number, like as I say, IS1. If I click on go, you can see the item is showing here. Okay. Now you want to take this. He's returning you the item and you are taking it return. So click on return item. You can check the details. Okay. And just click on the submit. Okay. Now you can, here you can see the payment panel is showing. If you are paying him the amount, so you can just write here. Or if you, are, if you want to keep this amount in his advance money, so just click on submit. So as you can see, if I'll check on his home page, now the amount is showing in advance. Okay, this means he can buy any uh, other jewelry against this advance money. Then we are having next imitation jewelry B1 form. Okay, if I'll take any product, as we added no spin, I'll go. As you can see, the details are showing here. Here we are having the product ID, the name, model number, length, shape, size, the details you have added while adding the stock okay. like the making charges total amount tax percentage okay the nose pain hsn number weight okay the sell price is showing here if i click on submit okay so you can sell from here if i check the b2 form invitation jewelry b2 form Okay, you can see here the form is with the limited details. If I'll check raw metal, if you want to sell any raw metal, then you can sell from here. Okay, any raw metal you are selling, it will show you the metal details, the quantity, weight, purity, wastage, total labor charges, the total labor charges, then the tax percentage, okay, metal type, that's raw gold, raw silver. Okay, metal name, HSN number, any less weight you're doing, the net weight will show here. Okay, and the labor charges if you're receiving. Then, next, we are having 
the crystal panel if you are selling any crystal you can just scan here the barcode okay you can see these details are showing and you can just click on submit and you can take the payment from that person okay, okay. then we are having the quotation okay if any customer want quotation for any particular item you'll just go to his uh, customer's quotation panel you take here the product id okay i'm taking ring 2 was rngp as you can see the details for that product are showing here okay now I'll click on submit okay you can see and if you want to make estimate and give it to customer just click on make estimate okay and from here you can give him the estimate for that product like this okay now if you'll check if i'll check on fine jewelry sell list okay it will show you the sell item you have sold to him the sell list will show here if you have taken any return as we took return return list in return list also it is showing then next we are having invitation jewelry sell list then same raw metal sell list then stone sell list and quotation list also you can check okay so this is how you will add the customer you will make the sell the product okay and in user list you can check the customer list as well over here okay and if i added any supplier will list will show here any category you have added the list will show here okay and if i'll go and check the day book you can see day book will show you the day wise transaction the daily transaction you have done for today as it is showing me for 19 june okay if i'll check take here as 19 march then from 19 march to 19 june i'll click on the search so it will show me the transaction from 19 march to 19 june okay if i'll click on the plus you can see with the maximum details it is showing me okay for the particular item i sold the particular item i took return from the customer okay the old gold i received from the customer okay and here it is showing me in the closing the fifty-five thousand is my closing for today okay okay this is how you will add the customer you will sell and you can check your daily transaction as well okay if you have any doubt you can comment below thank you thank you for watching the video